I think I'm going to buy a hammer and move to San Francisco. I don't know if I will carry the hammer with me all the time, but you never know when you're going to need a hammer. Hammers can do all kinds of things. You can imagine. Imagine if you're out at a gay bar and some older man approaches you and says, hey, you want to come over to my place and have a drink? Well, that seems like a good deal because drinks here Especially in San Francisco at these gay bars. They're way too expensive. Are you going to charge me? Can I get a free drink? So I guess, uh, you know, we go out into the world and we hope to experience it. And we, we take chances. And so if I'm in, you know, the, oh, the gay rodent. Bar. I don't know why they call it Rodent. That was a stupid name. I think they could have come up with something better like Rabbit or what other? Uh, what other? Yeah, I don't know why you even want to put an animal name on it. Maybe, uh, what's that thing that Will Gear had stuck up his ass that one time? Uh, ferret. The Gay Ferret. Now that is a name that almost works. You know, you almost, uh, I don't think everybody knows what a ferret is, and they surely don't know, you know, what happens if you stick one up your ass. So I'd almost go to a bar called the Gay Ferret. But anyway, I was at the, the gay bar whose title I will not mention because it's embarrassing. And I didn't witness anything, but I tell you, uh, I'm glad I bought the hammer. Because it could have been me. I could have gone home with uh, uh, the Speaker of the House's husband and Suddenly, I would have needed a hammer. Just because I'm trying to get a free drink. I mean, does anybody really deserve whatever it was that was going on there because he wanted a free drink? Shit's expensive in San Francisco. Have you ever tried to pay rent there? No. Oh, you need a house like... 114 illegal aliens in a bedroom and have them all pitch in equally. You got to get them out there on the streets playing guitars and holding bowls and some of them with sunglasses on and pretending they're blind and then, you know, then they bring home enough money to pay the rent in San Francisco. Sometimes you lose one. I had 114 yesterday. I'm going to get 112 today. I don't know what happened to the other eight, but so I'm going to buy a hammer so I can go to any bar I want to without fear and go home with anybody I want to and have a free drink without fear. Beer, just in case I get there and I get into my underwear and end up in an altercation with a man twice my age, at least I can defend myself. I'll have a hammer. And when the cops show up, first thing I'm going to do is run towards 
the old man who was twice my age. I'm going to try to hit him in the head with the hammer. Just to prove that I had been abducted and under false pretenses of a free drink. <sighs> I think I'm going to win this thing in court. Uh, he's obviously the the perpetrator in this thing. He just didn't know that I had a hammer. Doesn't everybody carry a hammer? I think he claimed it was his, but you know, when you're living in a $14 million mansion in San Francisco, do you normally keep hammers in the kitchen? I don't know. It depends on what you do. Do you go to gay bars and drag home innocent people that just want a free drink a lot? Has anybody gone into their backyard and, and dug it up to see how many bodies of innocent free drink wanters are out there? And the, the, so you can see like where they... These, these mass murdering gay bar people, they cut the grass. They have an edger or something. Then. And they'll pull out a plot of grass and, and then they dig down and they, after they're done with you, you know, they, they give you a free drink, but the free drink, this is just what I hear. Now that I've been in the uh, interviews and at the police station, all I wanted to do was have a drink. I didn't know it was a gay bar. How could you tell it was a gay bar? They got a big sign up there with a pelican on it. And the pelican has a cowboy riding on his back. I is that some kind of gay symbol? Fuck. I just thought, man, this looks like an interesting place. And suddenly I'm uh, I'm getting hit with a hammer. I think it was my hammer. I don't know. I think he had one too. Maybe we both had hammers. Who knows? It's, it's so complicated. 